Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to create a mega menu. And these are just awesome things to have on your side if you've got a lot of info to show to people. This is the way you want to do it. And to do this today we're going to be using the Divi Mega Pro plugin here. Which is a great little plugin from Divi Life makes it really easy to make these things. So let's get started. I'm using a click at the moment. You can do it on just a hover if you want. Once you've got uh, Mega Pro downloaded and installed, you'll find it in your dashboard menu right here. Just hit add new to add a new one. Call it what you will. And I'd suggest using the Divi Builder. It's up to you if you don't want to use that, but seeing as the, Div the Divi Builder is so excellent, I'd use it every time. Okay, and it's going to load the builder into this page here, which is great. I'll say start building from scratch. And you can just build on the back end like this, like any other Divi section. It will allow you to build on the front end, but if I actually open that in a new tab, I prefer to add a new page and build my menu that way and save it to the library. Because if you use their build on the front end, it's got a kind of boxed page with a sidebar there, and I really don't want that. So what I'd probably tend to do is just add a new page. If we go back, I'd simply add a new page. and build it this way. This way you can add whatever you need to add, make it the size that you want to make it, add whatever modules you want to add to yours. I've already got one made, so I'll just show you exactly what I did with mine. I'll add mine in here. There's my mega menu down there. Let's just get rid of this section on the top here. And I simply constructed it as you would any other Divi page. Have a look at some of my other videos if you're not sure how to do this. Put in the content and links that you want to put in your mega menu. I simply saved it to my library by hitting the little round icon next to the trash can there. Uh, let's call it MM3 for mega menu 3. Save it to the library. Now we've got a menu created, I'd simply go in here, add from library. There it is, we can get rid of that top section, nothing in it. And there's your, your library. Like I say, you can build on the back end here quite easily, but I like to do it in that, that full page, so purely so you can see how it looks on various devices. There it is on desktop. There it is on tablet. And here it is on cell phone. As you can see, it collapses down beautifully, just like any other Divi sort of section would. So great, we've got our little me mega menu here. We've constructed, like I say, you build yours exactly how you want. Now to make this work, what we've got to go down is page layout. We don't want any sidebar. Display locations. Well, I want mine to display on all pages. If you don't, you can select specific pages and just start typing a couple of characters in here. It'll find your pages, but I want mine on all. You've got various different animations you can use. I'm going to put mine on fade. Now, the, the triggers right here, this is what we've got to copy into our link to make it work. Mega Pro Unique Class. So I'm going to copy that. And I want it to drop down because I'm going to have it in my top menu. I want it to be 100% width, which is fine. Might want to adjust the margin. We'll do that in a minute once we see it. Uh, I want to enable a close button on desktop and mobile. 
and you can create a custom button by going in here and making the colors and things that you want and the size but it's going to be white by default which will work on my dark background there and you can disable it on mobile tablet or desktop if you don't want it to appear on any of those devices and you've got two choices you can have them it appear when they hover on it or you can have it appear when they click on it I'll leave it on hover just to show you and then we'll switch it to click so when you've got everything set up just the way you want hit the publish button and when it's all saved let's go to our menu appearance menus And we've got to actually add it. So I'll get rid of the one that I've got there. And we'll start adding again. I'm just going to use a custom link for mine. I'll put a hashtag in there. We'll change this in a moment. And we'll add it to the menu. Like anything else, put it where you want to put it. Now when we go inside, I've got two boxes there, CSS classes and link relationship. I can get rid of that hashtag now. We need to put it in at this stage or else it won't add it to the menu, but you can take it out here so there's no link. And we need to either put, put our CSS class that we created in our mega menu in here or in here. They say this one works better if you're using a down arrow. They both seem to work pretty well for me. Just experiment. I'm going to put mine in this one. There's that link we copied right there. So we want to save this to our menu now. Now, at this point, if you've been watching this and you're saying, well, I haven't got these little boxes right here, the CSS classes and the link relationship. Actually, I'm in the wrong one, but it's the same boxes. CSS classes and link relationship go up to the top of your page here go to screen options just make sure you've got CSS classes and link re link relationship both checked up there if you don't those boxes won't appear so if you're not seeing them that's probably the reason why and when you've done everything obviously let's save the menu okay once that menu has been updated let's visit our site And if we go over here, here's our mega menu. I've got the same menu on both. And as you can see, when I hover over it, it pops down because we're using hover. And you can add multiple ones to things and get all kinds of data going there. Now that's great, but for me, I'd like to scoot it down just a little bit because it's kind of covering up a bit of my logo there, which is no big deal, but I'd like to see the whole thing. And also, I actually prefer people to click on it rather than just hover over it like that so let's go back into our mega menu back to our dashboard down to Divi Mega Pro we'll go back in I believe it is this one okay so I wanted to offset the top by about 50 pixels or so I think 48 was what I set last time so let's go down margin top bottom I'm gonna put 40 let's put 48 pixels in there I believe that's what I used last time that'll push it down from the top by 48 picks and leave my logo intact here you can have an arrow if you want to have a little drop down arrow but I'm gonna leave mine as is close button was fine and I want to have it happen on click and exit also on click rather than just hover and I think everything should be just exactly as we need it right now great so let's update once updated we can go back to our page and we want to make sure to do a refresh I 
once the page is refreshed we'll go down and as you can see it's not popping up when I hover over it now but when I click on it there we go it'll pop up and it's down below my logo which is exactly what I wanted there I pushed it down a little bit too much we've probably done with 45 but that's okay and there's our little close button there and again there we go so that's how to get your first little mega menu going with a fantastic Divi Mega Pro plugin. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.